A homeless man sits on the floor near a shop door where he took shelter the night before. He's cold, wet and sore. It's afternoon, half four. And as birds sing, him, he just worries what the day will bring. Judgmental glares, disparaging stares. His cardboard sign falls upon deaf ears. Just then our eyes meet across the street. So I inquire, Sir, would you like a sandwich? To which he responds in a European language, one I don't understand, so I just extend my hand. We hang back for a while, and I watch him eat and smile, till it turns out he speaks some broken English. So I do my best to distinguish one word from another, as he shows me old battered pictures of his mother. Two strangers become friends as we walk down the street, lost in conversation in the sound of our feet. And as I look at him, I ponder, why are the streets full but houses empty? Why do some have none and others plenty? Why are criminals in a warm bed, roof over their head and fully fed? But the innocent are on the street, half dead. Enough said. And the criminals I talk about are not the ones in Port Leash or Castlery. It's the ones in the doll, you see. They're the ones that caused it all. In the island where nothing is as it seems, tracker mortgages, HBV screens, HAP schemes and electronic voting machines. Collins and Connolly's dreams torn at the seams. The in-betweens, the haves and the have-not, and those just left on the street to rot. We lost the plot. One out of every five TDs is a landlord. Interesting fact, the deck is stacked. What's the solution? Revolution. But not guns and bombs, poems and songs. A band of five million voices come together to end the housing crisis. Yeats said romantic Ireland's dead and gone. Nah, that's wrong. Romantic Ireland's young and strong. Somewhere now is a boy or girl, just a teen. Young, wise, strong and keen. That's our next great leader. But it's up to us now to sing this song. So let's not leave it too late or too long.